Who else but Nicki Mons? We've heard there's a problem in the church today. Our young people are leaving the church. What percentage of Christian youth are actually leaving the church? Well, Lifeway Research Study says that an astonishing 70% of students are leaving. The Research Institute at UCLA found that 52% of college students reported frequent church attendance the year before they entered college, but only 29% continued frequent church attendance by their junior year. Current data seems to suggest that 40 to 50% of students in youth groups struggle to keep their faith after graduation. 58% of church dropouts reported that a church issue was the reason for leaving the church. The most common was church members seem judgmental or hypocritical. And the second was, I don't feel connected to the people in my church. But not everyone leaves. So why did some 18 to 22 year olds remain in the church? 58% said that the church is relevant in helping them make decisions in life. 50% said that the church is helping them become a better person. And 42% said they are committed to the purpose and work of the church. Truth is, if we don't do something to deeply root our teens in the life and body of our church, we will lose them. So how do we show our young people that they matter to us? How do we communicate that our church is not just a building, but a living, breathing thing that will die if we lose our youth? We heard of a problem, and we have a solution. Welcome to Youth Promise 2011. What is Youth Promise? Youth Promise is a 12-week covenant between our church congregation and our teens from May 15th through August 7th. The members of our congregation will have an opportunity to make a financial commitment to our students who will commit to attend, serve, and minister to our church. So how does this work? At the end of the service, you can fill out a Youth Promise card located in the pew in front of you. You can choose to pledge throughout the 12-week period monthly, weekly, or donate a one-time gift. All that money will be divided among our teens who have committed to this program, but it doesn't stop there. Our students will only earn the full amount available by completing the three requirements of attendance, service, and ministry. Each requirement is worth one-third of the full amount. In attendance, our teens have committed to 10 of 12 weeks of church. In service category, our teens have committed to participate in three work days during this 12-week Youth Promise period. In the ministry category, our teens have committed to participate in an area of ministry throughout our church. So, what will your money go to? Your money will help us send teens to camp. Your money will also help us pay for teens to participate in things like the mission trip. Your money will send kids to winter retreats and help fund trips to countless other youth events. Bottom line is, your donation to Youth Promise will help us disciple our youth and demonstrate to them that you not only support them, but you believe in them also. Look at these faces. Can you imagine if they were all gone? Youth Promise 2011 is not a fundraiser. It's an opportunity. Will you let this opportunity pass you by?